I'm starting just a little early because I am trying to simulcast on YouTube tonight. So I'm just seeing if this is going to work. And it does look to be working. Awesome, awesome. Let's see. Welcome in, welcome in. And I'm going to pin that. Hey, guys, I know I'm starting early. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. I can't get my comment to pin because I've got other stuff in the way. Okay, so hopefully. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome in. Welcome in. I am streaming on Whatnot right now. It is my Thursday night vintage variety sale. We have lots of goodies in the house for you tonight. If you're watching on YouTube, welcome YouTube friends. All purchasing and bidding has to be done on Whatnot. So I put the link in the chat if you all want to hop over to Whatnot to join us. Nikki, it's good to see you. Nikki, I'm sorry. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. So good to see you. This is my first time multi-streaming, so I'm going to try to pin this so people will see it. Oh, great. It's in the comment section. I love how they do this, so let's see. What you're seeing right now, hey, Bree. I'm, I'm on early, guys, because I am testing out. It's Mickey. Hey, thrifting in the holla. So good to see you, girl. I'm sorry I called you Nikki. I knew it was Mickey. Welcome in, friends. Welcome in. Let me put my Do Not Disturb back on. I'm testing out YouTube tonight. So we are streaming on YouTube. So I have my whatnot open, my YouTube open. So I'm going to be hopping back and forth. Um, I'm going to go ahead. And I only have two giveaways tonight. This one is open to everyone. And the other one will be for those who've purchased from me. So let's go ahead and get this, we'll just get this one started. So the first giveaway tonight just happens to be, I had a bunch of cat stuff. It's this cute, just little cat sign. It's kind of like a little MDF board and says, it's the cat's house, we just pay the mortgage. That's the first giveaway. I know I'm a little early, but I was testing out my YouTube. So I am live on YouTube right now. And we've got Mickey in the house. We've got Bree in the house. Hey, Bree, did uh, Colleen get a hold of you from Lakeshore Finds? Welcome in, friends. Welcome in. The store is fully stocked. So feel free to go and check out that little house icon. I will. I am happy to hop around this evening and go out of order. Awesome, Bree. Yeah, she had asked me, but like, I have a lot of really big brass pieces left. And with the new shipping policy, I thought you might have some goodies. I'm glad you got on that train. Thank you so much for bringing in other folks. I appreciate it. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Seeing lots of new names. I love that. Here's all my info, guys, for finding me. We are also streaming on YouTube tonight. So that's exciting. We have a lot of kitties tonight. Um, I have been struggling with my phone guys charging. All my chargers seem to not be working. But here is some of what is in the shop tonight. All of this is available. So I'm, and I do have some pre bids on some pottery. I'm wondering if that's Miss Bree that pre bid on some of that pretty Southwestern pottery. So, not the stuff up there, but what's on the table is what's available tonight. I did have a few items I had to pull because they ended up being oversized. I had set up this sale back before all the changes. So, it's 5 58. We're going to let this go for a few minutes.
I'm going to get some water. And I don't have any music going tonight, guys, because I am dual streaming onto YouTube. So I can't have the music going with that. So if it's a little quiet, you may hear Holly yelling in the background. We're almost at six o'clock. I'm just going to give it another minute or two. And then we will get started. Are there any pre-bids, friends, or any requests? 10 people, thank you so much. This is my only giveaway this evening that is going to be open to everyone. Thank you. And it's just this cute little hanger sign that says, it's the cat's house, we just pay the mortgage. I got this really cute cat bundle. So I decided to put some of the figurines and that is the giveaway for tonight. We have a minute 52 left. And then we'll get going. And I'm gonna run through pretty quick tonight, guys, because we've got storms in the area. As always, I am in Florida. If you don't know, I ship from Florida. There's my info. Welcome in, folks. It's exactly six o'clock now, so at 6.01, we'll go ahead and we'll draw that winner, and then we will start going through the goodies. Welcome, welcome. Just checking to see if anyone else has hopped on YouTube while we're streaming. Going to let people get their notifications in. So did everyone have a good 4th of July last week? I took the week off to just have a nice long week, and I had a long weekend. Was that last week? Oh, gosh, no, that was two weeks ago. <laughs> That's right. I wasn't. No, yeah, that was last week. Yeah, I went to one of the big antique malls, guys, and I got 90 new items. I still have 50 from another trip there that I haven't gone through yet that are all becoming a whatnot in the coming weeks. So be sure to go ahead and check out my profile. I should be having two sales a week now all the way until I think it's the last week of August and I'm taking a week off in September. I'll be doing jewelry sales on Tuesday nights and either glass or vintage on Thursday nights. 20 seconds left, 10 people watching. If you want the cat sign, get in the run and this is the only giveaway tonight open to everyone. I appreciate you all coming out, new faces, new names. And I am taking requests. So feel free to check out the shop. All right, here we go. It should be running. Mickey, congratulations. This will be going to you, girl. All right, guys. I am going to run through just a couple items, and then I'll get to some of the pre-bits. So first up, we have this crystal cat, and I do believe, I tried to research this mark, and someone told me it might be an older global mark with the look of the bumblebee on the bottom, but it is a crystal cat paperweight. And we're going to get that started. And I run all my auctions at 20 seconds, and away we go. So, And there are no issues. The first up is this crystal cat paperweight. Let's see. What's it showing you guys for shipping? I'm just curious how the shipping looks. And this one is crystal. Welcome in, welcome in. 835, okay, that's not bad. That's like the max. All right. Let's see, let's see. Next up, we have another trio of kitties. And this is a set of band cats. It's kind of bisque on the bottom and glazed on top. This set has no issues. You've got your trombone player, your tambourine. Not sure what he's doing. These are made in China. I do have two sets of these. The other set does, one does have a little chip. These are starting at $4 for 20 seconds. We're going to get those running. I'm just turning down the AC. We are at 101 degrees in Florida today. So I'm just getting it cooled down in here a little bit. Let 
Next up, we have a nice Andrea. Yes, I'm gonna, I was just gonna run a couple of first things and then I'm gonna get to the pre-bids, if that's okay. So next we have this cute set of Andrea by Sadik fruit salt and pepper shakers, snail fruit salt and pepper shakers with their stoppers and their original serving tray. Their little cute faces. Let me get those started for 20 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and start looking for the, the pre-bids and get those run. Okay, we'll get that set. Oh, okay. So our first pre-bid is this pair of signed Mexican pottery vases. So I will show you, they have that kind of 80s pastel going on. This is the first one, it is signed Mexico. It's got the glazing over the etched part. There's just a little bit of glaze uh, overflow there. And then there's this one that goes with it, also Mexico. Let me get those pinned. And this one has one little spot I noticed. You can see it's kind of on the underlip, but you don't see it from the top, really. And they are about six inches high each. I'm going to get them started for 20 seconds. So JLS Variety is winning. Thank you so much. And we'll get the other pottery pieces. I believe have some pre-bids on them. So JL gets those for $8. Thank you so much. And the reason I'm saying the prices, guys, is because they can't see on YouTube um, the prices and everything. So that set went for $8. The JLS variety. Next up, we have a sign, and this one says on the bottom, Hozoni Pottery, Native American artist. Another cute little Southwestern style vase. I get that started for 20 seconds. It's the same person, has the pre bit on it, so thank you very much. Much appreciated. Welcome in friends, welcome in. The store is fully stocked this evening. So this piece is gonna go also to JLS Variety for $6, thank you. And then we have this one, which is a nice thicker uh, wheel one and it's hand painted in the black and blue. Yeah, the colors are great. Thank you JLS Variety, hello. Okay, we're gonna get this one running. I'm gonna go ahead and start going 15 seconds. Brigia is winning. Thank you, Miss Bri. This one for $7. Very nice pottery piece. Congratulations, Bri. Awesome. Make sure that one doesn't fall over. Stay, okay. Let's see, I have two other pottery pieces that don't have a pre-bid on them, but I figured I would go ahead and run them. So there's this one that has that Southwestern feel as well with the rings on the side and the speckling of the pottery. It's glazed on the interior and it's got the gold with the cactus. It doesn't really have a maker, it's blank on the back. But I'll go ahead and get that one run. for 15 seconds at $5. Thank you, JLS Variety. I appreciate it. Congratulations, that'll go great with your other pieces. And then my last kind of Southwestern pottery piece for the night is this terracotta with the black paint. It does have some paint loss spots on it. It's a little rougher in style. 
it see like this is where it peeled off where the sticker used to be. Um, it is about, let's see what size this is for you guys. Six inches tall. And I'm starting at three because of the little bit of issues to the paint and everything. So that one is running. Thank you, Miss Bree. I'm gonna kind of check to see if there's any other pre-bids going on here. Looks like Miss Bree is gonna get this Bree Gia for $3. Awesome. Congratulations. That will be coming to you. And if you guys stick around for a bit, I'll try to like 6.45 do the giveaway. That is for those who have purchased from me. I like to give it some time. And the giveaway is this. It's actually a Toronto, Canada souvenir piece. You can almost not see the gold anymore, but this will be my next giveaway for those who have purchased that they can get in the buyer's choice, um, not buyer's choice, appreciation giveaway. All right, we have a lot to go through, so I'm gonna keep running here unless there's any requests that have come in. And if I'm a little windy, guys, I've been battling like severe allergies all week and I'm finally coming out of it. So this is a cute little blue and white, almost reminds me of like a Delft style cat creamer. It's made in the Philippines for JS New York. We're gonna get that running. No worries, Bree. I'll probably run it close to seven. Just depends upon how fast we go. Welcome in, welcome in. If you're watching on YouTube, hello. Okay. Next up, we have a cow creamer. Let's find that. This one is a little bit more contemporary looking, but just a nice farmhouse style white cow creamer. No issues. Let me get that going. Thank you, Mickey. That's a great one. I appreciate it. Thank you. Put that with your sign. Okay. Next up, we have some kitty cats. And now these are the ones that I know everybody really loves with the painted faces. I am starting them at $4 because they came in a bag lot and they got a bit beat up, but I've never seen the whole set. So here is the base. And I want you to know there is chipping that needs touched up on the base, but this is what they sit on. And then you have the largest shaker. So you can see the face has got a little paint loss there, some spots on its ears, and one little boo-boo here. But that's it. It's got a little paint loss right there. But still just so darn cute. And then this is the other shaker that goes with it. Again, this one has a little boo-boo on the ear because this was in a bag lot when I found it. That's just manufacturing a bubble spot. And then, so you have the salt, the pepper, and then it came with this, which I guess is like a little toothpick holder and I've never seen this one. And the sticker is still on the bottom, but you can't read it. This one's actually in the best condition. It might still have a little bit of grease. I didn't want to scrub them super hard and risk damaging the face. So the whole set is starting at $4 now for 20 seconds. So that's running. I'm gonna see what we have next for you guys. If there's any requests, I'm happy to take requests. Thank you, Kelsey. They're a very nice set. And if you're good with, you have a steady hand, you can do just a little touch up on the brown and they'll be great. Thank you, Rick Creating. Congratulations on your first purchase from me for $5 for the kitty set. Okay, next 
Next up, we have a super, super cute, I'm just setting these down so they don't tip over, vintage post office paper mache. It's like really, really thick cardboard. Look at how kitschy that is. I absolutely love it. Here is the bottom. It's made in Japan. Now, it does look like someone tried to smash the back because as I noted, it does have heavy crazing lines up the back. I want to make sure you guys can see that. Let me get you in here a little bit more and get that pinned. There we go. So if you can kind of see, it's got lines going up here and around here. But the thing is, because this isn't ceramic, it's still intact because it's thick paper. It's not going to like damage in shipping. So I'm going to start this at 10 for 20 seconds. So cute. I've never seen anything like it before. I didn't find any like it online. Just really neat and different. You can see some of the cracking on the bottom there. It must have been like someone trying to break into the bank. There you go. Alrighty. So next, if you love Cocker Spaniels, this is for you. I have one of those I love my Cocker Spaniel figurines. There's no damage, no issues. It's by I Love My Dog, George Good Japan. It's a cute little Cocker Spaniel. Welcome in, friends. Welcome in. Check out the shop. We're going to get that running now for 20 seconds on the screen. Yeah, it's super sweet. I love the face on that. I figured even though I have a lot of cats tonight, I'd bring something for the dog lovers out there. Okay. Next we have a salt and pepper shaker set and you've heard of the blue bow duck or geese, but now you have the blue, the 90s blue bow cats made in China, 90s style. One little teeny tiny ear spot right there, rough spot. Other than that, they're in great condition. Even their faces are painted a little different. I'm gonna get those running for you now for 20 seconds. They both have their stoppers. So those are running and we have six seconds left on the clock. And then next up, we have some more Mexico, Mexico piece for you. Okay. So this is a blue Mexican pottery coffee mug. So there you have the made in Mexico and it's got the fruit and the flowers and the birds, kind of tonal style. It only has one spot in the rim where it's like a glaze miss. So there's just one little spot right there. Otherwise, there's no issues. There's no hairlines. I'm going to get that started for 20 seconds, starting at $3. A little bit of Tonala mug. Tonala mug is now running. All righty. So next up, I'm, I'm in Florida. So, you know, I have to bring you some Disney because I'm in Florida. So next up, we have a plastic, hard plastic Mickey Mouse bank. This is probably made in China, so it's a little bit newer. But there's Mr. Mickey. He has a little paint loss right there. And a little scuff on the back. It has its stopper. I'm going to get that started for y'all for 20 seconds. A little Mickey bank. And then my next piece really reminds me of the 90s. Super cute recipe box coming up. Okay, so next up we have a hand-painted recipe box. 
And it is dated 2003 on it, but the style reminds me of the 90s. So it's the hand-painted cats. It's dated 2003. It says recipes on top. And then on the inside, there's a kitty surprise. So I'm going to get that started for uh, 20 seconds. Cute wood hand-painted kitty cat recipe box. <clears throat> I'll get the next item ready. Gotta shift some stuff around. Alrighty guys, be sure to check out the shop. Everything's loaded in there if you're just joining us. So next up is a Ballin' Off storage box. It's a red acrylic and it's got a handle on it and it's for portafiles. Falling off Beachwood, Ohio, and I always forget. There you go. Let's see if I can actually get it open on camera because I've opened it. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera maybe. There we go. So it still has one divider and it has a key, but I'm not sure if the key goes to it. Like I didn't want to risk like jamming it, but I thought it was a really cute retro style storage box. So I'm gonna get that started for 20 seconds. Just a fun retro style storage box. And that's number 14, the Ballin' Off storage box, red acrylic. And if I'm repeating things, guys, I'm also streaming to YouTube and YouTube doesn't show all the information. So this way people watching over there can see what's going on. And if you're on YouTube, guys, and there's anything you're interested in, within 40 hours of this show, if there's stuff that hasn't sold, you know, can message me. Because it may come up in another sale. Okay. So next up, we have a little bit of Art Deco Revival. We have this ribbed black sleek folded planter. It is a planter. It does have one little boo-boo on the bottom that a little black gloss paint could take care of with no problem. It is eight inches tall by six inches wide. So a fun little art deco piece. I'm gonna get that started for 20 seconds. And tonight is my vintage variety sale. So it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. No particular theme, just kind of lots of different treats. So we're running the black planter right now the ribbed Art Deco style. Alrighty. Be sure to check out my profile, friends. All my sales are noted. Next up, we have a fun vintage Japan kitchen set. It's this green ceramic bamboo style. And you have the instant coffee holder that still has the original cork. I don't want to press that too hard. And then you have the matching salt and pepper shakers. This one does have like a manufacturing line across it. But they are Japan. They do have heavy crazing. Sadly, there was a cream and sugar that came with it that were damaged beyond repair. So you would get all three of these starting at $6, running for 20 seconds. This cute little vintage Japan kitchen set. And then let's see what's coming up next for you guys. We're moving and shaking tonight. We have 50 items to get through and we're on 21. So we are moving and grooving. I am taking requests. So feel free to shout them out. So next we have this neat Taiwan vase. It's a heavy ceramic red glaze with brown accenting. There's the bottom. I kind of like the very boho earthy look of this. We're gonna get that started at $8 for 20 seconds. Very nice boho earthy piece. I'm 
Welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for stopping by. We are running this Taiwan Earth Tone Vase right now. All right. Next up, we have some what looks like tollware, I believe is the term for it. It is this single flower. There is one petal missing, but it's this beautiful dusky cream and pink like votive holder rose with the green leaves freestanding. Put your little candle on there. We got that started at $5 for you for 20 seconds. A little bit of metal toll wear from the 90s. Really nice rose decor, cottage core, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Welcome back, Rick. I know sometimes whatnot toggles us in and out. <laughs> all right, guys. Next up, I have a little bit of lucite for you. So this is a lucite owl piece. And I did, under certain light, you can see that there is some scratching on the back. But straight on, it looks nice and clear. You can kind of see up here where it may have been scrubbed up a little bit and it had some scratching. But otherwise, it's a cute little owl piece. I'm going to get that started for 20 seconds for you guys. Welcome back, Miss Bree. Let's see if we can get that to focus a little better for you guys. There you go. Oh, I didn't know they can glow. Let's find out. I don't know if that's glowing. It like accents it, but it doesn't really change the color. So I don't think that one glows. I'll run it again, just in case for those coming in. So now I need to check, I have another piece coming up. I need to see if that glows. Oh, the leaves kind of glow a little on this one coming up. Interesting. I didn't know that. See, I love learning from you guys. All righty. So next up, let's see. Yep, it's the koala. So next up, we have the koala paperweight. And I think it just glowed because it's got kind of the green in the leaves. But here's the koala lucite. It is signed hand, Dylan Handing 89. And there is the back, so you can see where it's kind of carved out. That one's in nice condition. We're going to get started for 20 seconds. If you have any requests, friends, I am jumping around. No problem. Let's see, okay. So next up, these guys are gonna to wanna to roll all over the place, I know it already. I have some decorative eggs that are kind of like a stone finish. So we've got a pink one, and these were all in a bag, so there is a little bit of like rub damage where they like planked into each other. So there's that pink one. You get this pink one. Let's get this in the light a little better. You get an orange one, a blue and a green with that kind of like marble texture. There you go. Let me get those started for you for 20 seconds. Thanks, Mickey. Those are neat. Nice little decorative. Great for Easter. Thank you. Renewed life retro. Retro what? Is that Christy? Oh my gosh. They're okay. I didn't drop them. Sorry. See, they're all okay. They're just making loud noises. Hey, Christy. All right. Stay. They sound loud because I'm setting them down on the table and they're heavy. 
So guys, Renew Life Retro is a mom-daughter team, Christy and Linda from America's Antique Mall. If you watch my videos, I shop their booths. I don't have any of their stuff in this show, but I will have some in others. They've got some good stuff. All right, so next up, I have a fun set of retro mirrors. They're kind of, oh, hello. <laughs> don't look at the mess. I was in the garage working on lunch. <laughs> They kind of remind me of like that Italian Florentine, but they're a plastic, they're an acrylic, they're a thick acrylic and you get two of them. So some nice, maybe a little boho, maybe a little Hollywood Regency. We're starting them for 20 seconds and away we go. And I am taking um, requests, so feel free to check out. Just adding some extra mods. Oh, they could be cute vanity trays as well. Very true. And friends, if you are a follow fellow whatnotter, feel free to throw up some fire emojis or something so we can give you all a follow. Okay. So this next one's gonna take me a minute to get together because it is a really, really cool canister set. And you get all five pieces. And they are really pretty, they're new in box. So all five are this pattern. They're this beautiful like peacock bird pattern. They're in descending order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this one started and I'm gonna run it for like a minute so that you guys can see them as I take them out. Now I can't get the lid open. Oh God. I knew I should have done this ahead of time. It's just, I have neuropathy in my hands guys. So I struggle with, uh... so there's the big one and it still has room to put a label on the bottom. They are beautiful tin and gold on the interior. For $8, you get all five. So here's the second one. Nice, clean condition, not used. Look how tiny they get. Aren't they cute? So you get all five starting at $8 new in box. And they have the beautiful pheasant bird on it. So let's see. Aw, uh, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it, guys. All right, I'm going to leave these together and set them aside. Just to make my life easier. Feel free to check out the shop. Let me know if there's anything you want me to run. Okay, next up, we have this cute little peachy vase. It's got that kind of, you know... Art Deco revival going on that we see a lot of with the 80s and 90s pastels. It's a drip glaze, uh, it's a hobbyist piece. So the glaze is a little lighter in some spots than others, but it's a cute little size. Let me make sure I pin the right thing for you guys. We're starting this at $5. Aw, hey June's Attic, what's up, Linda? Oh, I've got a troll. Hold on, guys. I can't get them on. This whole little emoticon thing on YouTube is driving me insane because it's in the way. There. Sorry, I had a troll that was watching on YouTube with inappropriate comments. Who wants to see Holly? Oh, I ran it for a minute. I'm sorry, guys. Holly, you know I'm doing a sale. And mama accidentally ran this for a minute. So we're gonna stare at the peach planter for 13 more seconds. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome in. What it is, is it's like 20 minutes till she gets her medicine and she gets treats. So she's already starting to scream for them. Okay, I got rid of that person over there. We're gonna go ahead and pin the next item and I'll try not to run it for a whole minute. <laughs> so this next one is pretty neat. It's made in West Germany and it's an owl. And I believe 
it's got glass eyes. It's a beautiful ceramic little guy. Welcome in, welcome in. Four and a half inches tall. So I'm getting that started. Oh, I did it again for a minute and I saw the minute. <sighs> next one, guys. Next one, I'll fix it. I promise. <laughs> Hey, Brie, thanks for hopping on YouTube. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. I just figured I'd also stream over there for people who don't get to, uh, uh, thanks. Yeah, so I'm going to start streaming all my sales over on YouTube also for people who like want to see what I'm doing and learn about it and things like that. Up oh, here comes Chappie, guys. You guys want to see Chappie? There's the twins. Holly. Holly. There's the twins. It's rare to get them together. Okay. So let's see. Next up, we have this super cute teddy bear planter. It's got to be Japan, it's older. Um, I don't think it may have one little start of a line right there, which most of these older guys do. And you know what? It was marked. Oh, Grant, that's, I did look it up. Okay. So it's marked OA and this is by Grant Crest Vintage. It's a bear, berry, bear and barrel. So I'm going to get it started for, I remembered to change the time, 20 seconds. And away we go. Hi, Curiosity Save the Cat. Welcome in, folks. I still have kitty cats that I haven't gotten to yet. Be sure to check out the shop. We are only on item 35, 4 out of 50. So we are slowly moving along. And you'll hear my Miss Holly in the background. So next up, I have a piece for those of you who like to make assemblages. Um, I had to, I had to save it. And it is this super, super cute double heart red vase, it's red planter. So it's this red planter and on the bottom it's marked made in Portugal, not suitable for food. The issue is, where is it? There's one age hairline starting right there. And someone repaired a hairline on this side. So you can see the glue drip. But if you turn it this way and you put an assemblage in it for Valentine's Day, you're not going to see it. So I'm starting at $3 because I'm hoping someone can do something with this and make it into something super, super cute. So it does have a little bit of damage that could just be touched up with paint where they glued a hairline. There's June's attic. Hello. I know, right? Wouldn't that be great for an assemblage? That's why I figured I'd try it and see if anyone was interested tonight. So then next up, we have a piece that came from my St. Pete trip for my birthday. This beautiful purple. Okay. How am I going to do this? Beautiful. Let's see super, super purple amethyst glass hand painted ruffle vase. And it was marked from Ella Snyder, 1950. So someone painted this little purple amethyst vase for someone as a gift. Beautiful, beautiful purple color. I'm gonna get started for 20 seconds. Let me get it on the pedestal for you. Like in person, it's just so purple. And we all know how I love my glass. So yeah, like you can just see that purple in there. So pretty. Whew. Christy, I saw y'all are having sales in the um, antique mall this weekend. I'm like, really this weekend? <laughs> I cannot go this weekend. I spent way too much the last time I went. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, America's Antique Mall is having up to 30% off 
throughout the Antique Mall this weekend for Christmas in July if you're in the Melbourne, Florida area. Be sure to check it out. Okay, guys, now we have a vintage birdie with a tree. Um, some people have said this is Shawnee. I was not certain, so I didn't want to say. And I think it might have... It's got one little discoloration line starting down in the center there, which a lot of these have with age. No other issues. Oh man, y'all are killing me. Now I want to go. <laughs> but I have like literally eight boxes sitting in my garage from my last two trips down to Melbourne. <laughs> I hope you guys do well and get lots of sales this weekend. Welcome in friends, welcome in, check out the shop. We've got lots of goodies going on. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, so next we have a Royal Windsor pink and gray pedestal planter. It has just a little bit of pink loss on the rim. But I love that pink and gray combo. I just think it's so pretty. I could see this as a planter or in a bathroom holding items. There's your age on the bottom, the Royal Windsor. Really, really cute piece. I get that started for 20 seconds for you guys. And then we're going to get into a few more smalls now, some glass, some votives. So if there's anything you see in the shop, we are up to number 39, friends. And I will not be running back through everything tonight. So if I've passed it and you want to see it, please go ahead and let me know. So next up, we have this little, let's get you in the light really well. It's a multicolored swirl elephant. He does have a little tip of his tusk mixing, missing. Thank you for sharing my stream. I appreciate it. Cute little, he even got a little beady eye. Look at that. All art glass, swirled body. It's kind of like reds and browns and blacks and whites. We're going to get him started for 20 seconds. And away we go. Hey, Aaron, welcome in. Canada in the house. Aaron has a cool shop in Canada. She has opened her own little store. It's so cute. And that's the collection vintage friends. Okay. You got it. I sure can. Okay, so these are, they kind of look like the Italian uh, mirrors, but they are a very, very thick acrylic. And you get two of them in the set. Trying not to show you all my messy hair. So I'm gonna get those started for 20 seconds if you're interested. Yeah, my face is also like bright red because I was in the garage earlier working <laughs> and it's hot. We had 101 here today. Thank you so much, Rick Creating. I appreciate it. Congratulations, Rick Creating got those for $10. All righty. You're welcome. And I did want to run this again because um, I know some people have come in. I will go back and rerun this guy real quick, and then I'll find out where I was again. So this is a Mexican, made in Mexico, like, I believe it's like a tonal style, blue on blue, bird mug. It has one glaze mist right here on the rim. There's the center. So I'm going to run that again, starting at $3 for 20 seconds. Anyone's interested in that? 
little Mexican pottery. And then we will go back and see where we were. We were running through the vases. We were on the mouse, number 40. Welcome in, friends. Welcome in. Okay. And the cats are coming up, guys. If you're waiting for the cats, let me know. I can hop around. That's not a problem. So I have never seen this guy before. And I usually see a lot of clear glass votives. But look at this cute mouse votive all up in your face. Look at that. I've never seen one like this. There's no markings. So cute. Let me get that started for 20 seconds. He's a bit heavier guy, but he's very well defined. It's even got a little curly tail. Look at that. Love it. Love it. There might be a little bit of yellowing from age, from use, you know, because it's a little bit older glass. And if mice aren't your thing, what about turtles? Now this one is such a clear, clean, nice glass. It gives off a little bit of rainbow. It could even be crystal or it's just a really, really beautiful, clear made glass. It has a little bit of rainbow edging. Little turtle, we're gonna get him started for 20 seconds. Cute little turtle votive. Love some turtles. Welcome in, folks. Welcome in. It's Miss Kim. Hi, Kim. So Miss Kim from Oh My Vintage is joining over on YouTube, so you guys can't see her comments. But hi, Kim. I'm toggling between my tabs for whatnot and YouTube. Good to see you. All right, guys. And if you're on YouTube, friends, and you're interested in purchasing anything, there are links all around there to uh, hop on over to Whatnot so you can participate. And of course, I have to have an owl votive to finish out the votives. Again, this one is a very, very, very nice clear glass, nice thick piece, no cloudiness, a very nice quality. Tea light goes in the back right there. We're going to get that started for 20 seconds. Had to bring the owls. You know I had to. Okay. Next up, we have a little artisan earring canada going on. Okay. So this is, I got this, of course, because I love elephants. And then when I got home, I realized it had boo-boos. So this one is missing the tip of its tusks, but I love that it had like this beautiful decorative piece bit on the top. Here is the bottom marking for you. I don't know which way is, yeah. And it's got the enameling tusk, for, it had a tusk reduction. And even the eyes are so detailed on this one. I just really, really like him. And it's like singing, it's happy. We're gonna get started for 20 seconds. It's a happy little elephant. Good luck because the trunk is up. I know, Holly. All right, guys. I think after this guy, I'm going to run my only giveaway I have for those of you who have purchased from me. So that's, I think there's three or four of you. So if um, JLS Variety is still here, if Mickey is still here, uh, Bree is still here, and if Rick Creating is still here, you guys are the only ones that can win this. So, I'm going to go ahead and start that giveaway, and there's only four of you, and it's for this Lava Glaze Drip Mini Bud Vase. It is a Souvenir Canada, Toronto, Canada piece. So, I'm just going to give it a minute or two. I know only four of you could join. There's two entries, so two people may have dropped off. Someone's going to give it a minute. And I need to give Holly her medicine, guys, so I will be right back. I'm 
I know, baby, it's medicine time. I know. I'm gonna be quick because Mama's in the middle of a show. I know. I know, I know, I know. Here. I'll be right back, guys. Just hang out and check out the store. Go ahead and check out the store. I will be right with you. You ate up all those treats so super fast. You ate them all up so fast. That's all you get right here. Here you go. Go on. Sorry guys, I'll be right there. She's fight she's being a little difficult. <laughs> Gotta get the hubby, guys. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the winner. I tried to give her her treat, and she won't take it in the thing, so it's up on the counter. It's mixed in. She won't take it. Yay, Bree! Congratulations. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Had to get the hubby to come give her the treat. <laughs> okay. All righty. So we're going to go back now and let's see what else. What was next? Let's see. Okay, we have an owl and it's some chalkware, guys. So that's what's next. Hey, friends, welcome in. So next up, we have this super cute chalkware owl. He does have a little loss here and a chippy on the ear top. And it's missing its hanger. But it is a super, super cute chalkware piece. He's a hoot. Ha ha ha. Get this started for 20 seconds. Feel free to check out the shop, guys. We've got more kitty cats coming up. We've got lots of goodies left. Kim, you need to try whatnot. Yeah, it's awesome. You'll have to come hang out with us. All right, guys. Next up, I have a really pretty vase. Welcome in. We've got 10 people. That's awesome. So I thought this was beautiful. It is Bavaria, Germany. And here's all the fancy, so you guys can see the bottom. But I just loved like the orange and the green and the purple applied with the gold on top. I saw it was a beautiful color combination. I'm gonna get that one started for 20 seconds. Yes, we love the owls. Anything boho. All righty, let's see. Next up, we have a porcelain pin cushion lady. Quite a bit of variety tonight, a little bit boho, yes. Now her dress needs a little adjusting. This is definitely a much older, older piece. Her dress is falling down a little bit. She still has her lace on the bottom. You can see there. All the lace and then there's the bottom and it's stuffed. It is, her dress is coming up a little bit here from age, but she is a bigger one. She is eight inches, 
she's over. She's almost nine inches tall, actually. So I'm gonna get her started for 20 seconds. Hi, Lady Tag Along. Welcome in, friends. I'm just gonna check the top to make sure that nothing has some pre-bids I didn't see once we went past it. Checking that real quick. All right. So next up, we have one more item before we get to a whole bunch of kitty cats. So next up, we have a little bit of a boho wood dish. It's this neat leaf pattern with the carved flowers. Great for a serving dish. It does have some paint spotting on the bottom. And actually, I didn't realize that this one is oversized, guys. I actually can't run this one. I'm sorry if there was interest because um, I'll get charged oversized shipping fees. I didn't realize that one was too big. I apologize about that. Thanks, Mickey. I appreciate it. Have a great evening, girl. All right, guys, we're getting down to the mini kitty cats now. We're getting down to the mini kitty cats. So first off, we have this pair of iridescent hand-painted eye kitty cats. They are not salt and pepper shakers. They are just figurines. They have their little pink bows. They're starting at $5 for 20 seconds. Okay. And then what do we have next? Next up, we have this Anesco kitty. It is a little bit of a Christmas kitty cat. He does have two spots where someone loved him so much that they repaired his tail. And they did a pretty nice job. So it's got the iridescence and it is marked Anesco. I'm going to go ahead and pin that. And that is going to run now, starting at $3 for 20 seconds. And friends, we are winding down. So if you're on here and there's, you want to look at the catalog, if you're looking at stuff, just let me know. Because once I finish with the cats, I'll be wrapping up for the evening. So just let me know if you're looking. So I don't want to close out on you guys if you're still browsing. Next up, I have another kitty cat. And this is a terracotta and white glazed kitty with painted black eyes. We're going to get that started for $4 for 20 seconds. Hey, Colleen. Welcome in, friends. We're almost winding down here. We're almost wrapping up. I've got a few items left this evening. And then what I'll do is I'll do a little table pan and I'll do last call to see if there's anything anyone wants me to run. Okay. So the next one I think is the 90s white cat. This one is super cute. Like this, I can remember having ones like this when I was a teenager. Look at those. She's got like light blue eyes, all the flowers and pearls. Made in Taiwan. She's just too cute. We're going to start her at $4 for 20 seconds. Let's see what else we got. And then... So be sure, guys, if you're checking out the shop to let me know because I'll be winding down after these next few items. Next up, we have this really cute gray and white kitty cat that's holding a mouse in a bucket. There's no damage, no issues. So we're going to start that at $4 for 20 seconds. Welcome in, friends. We are winding down. Be sure to check out the shop. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to rerun. We're almost at the end this evening. And I also have goodies in the buy it now section. If you guys didn't see that, I have some cat wind chimes. 
So next up, I have a little pink and white and gold piece. And it is a kitty cat with some, um, I would say they were probably bisque and glazed. I know bisque means unglazed, but it's kind of like that thicker style. I could picture this with like a lipstick in it on a vanity or a little Q-tip holder. There's only roughness like right here. I think a little corner may have chipped off. It's a little rough, but everything else seems to be, seems to be good. So we're gonna get that started at $3 for 20 seconds. And that is running guys. Checking on YouTube folks. Everyone, how everyone's doing over there. All right guys. Okay. My last kitty cat of the evening is another little planter. It is this cute little yellow and brown guy. It is a little more contemporary. I think it's a hobbyist piece. He does have a little bit of, um, it's like a cracking on the inside, but it's like the glaze is really thick, so it's not damaged to the actual ceramic. So he's a cute little succulent holder. He's only four inches by four inches, so I'm gonna get him started for 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna do five minutes of last call. It's for you guys to check out the shop, shout out any numbers or anything you'd like to see. I'll pan the table for those of you who have just joined. Let me just unhook the camera. Thank you, Erin. Thank you, Mods. Thank you, friends, for hanging out tonight. All right, guys, we're gonna do last call. These are all the goodies. The cat is not included. These are the goodies that are still available. We have some Lucite. We have some, let's see, don't mind my couch. <laughs> I have cat children. I don't have real, like real children. That's all the cat toys. I know, don't judge me. We've got some Artesania, an owl votive, a little mouse votive, a glass turtle votive still. It's a, we have a crystal cat paperweight and some owl chalkware, some amethyst glass, some Mickey cute cat recipe box. This is still in the shop. We have this cute post office paper mache piece. It does have some cracking down the back from age, like someone was trying to smash it. Please run the tins. Of course. Do you remember what the number was on those? Let me find them. The tins are great. I was really excited to find those. Third one, thank you. Now, I wonder if the lighting would be okay over here. So I actually had them out already. So I'm gonna do this. Sorry, my Lucite grapes are not for sale. And I'm gonna sit down a second. So this is the large one. And that's the patterns on there. And then you get a medium. You get this size. They're all the same pattern. So I'm going to get those started. And I'll run them for like 45 seconds since I'm still showing. And then you get some baby sizes. And they all come in the original box. So you get all five in the original box. Yeah, I thought they were beautiful. And they're in like really nice, like never used condition. And I think they're like Taiwan. Thank you so much, Colleen. I appreciate it. So that's those there. So you can see them all. Welcome in, welcome in. So these tins are running right now. Now I may have in a future sale some grapes coming up because I did find some when I was shopping. So then we still have these guys over here available. These are in the buy it now section. We have the tollware. We have the little instant coffee and salt and pepper shaker set. We have a little art deco vase. 
So I'm just doing last call, guys. I'll stay on a few more minutes. Salt and pepper shakers, Bulgaria vase. This is a beautiful Taiwan heavy ceramic bohemian vase. So these are still available. So if there's something you'd like to see, this one is a glass-eyed ceramic owl from West Germany. We have the Cocker Spaniel still available, the Planter, the Musical Kitties, Andrea by Sadik. We have some Snail Shakers still available, the Lucite Koala Bear. So we are winding down, friends. All right, it's almost 7.05. If you're looking or anything, just shout out you're still looking, guys. Because I, I don't want to cut off on anyone. I know if you're in the catalog, you're probably browsing, and it's hard to get back because then you lose your spot with them. So I'll just kind of keep panning the table for a minute. This is what's still available in the shop before I sign off here in a minute. So we had some fun last week. A giant turtle decided to bury eggs in the neighbor's yard. So we watched it walk across all the backyards from the pond and then go back to the pond. So we're waiting to see if we see babies come out. That'll be exciting. All right, guys. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for coming out, friends. It was great to see you. Christy and Linda and Colleen and Bree and Mickey and Aaron. Thanks for modding. Thanks to all my new friends. And I will see you all next week for more goodies. It's my Christmas in July sale. See you then. Have a good evening, everyone.